the Tipman M4 Micro Elite bug out pistola. Now you've seen several uh, Tipman Arms videos on my channels down through the years. Yes, it's Tipman Arms. Um, same company, well actually the same family that make the paintball guns, different company, okay? It's the same family, different company. But this is their Micro Elite uh, M4 Pistola. This is their uh, bug out gun. And what makes it their bug out gun, you've seen the M4 Micro Elite on my channel before, but it's this right here. You simply press up on that and the brace right here, it's not a stock, this brace folds in. Now, what is really neat about this is that you can actually shoot this bug out gun with the brace folded inward. That's pretty cool, okay? Say for instance, you had an AR-15 that used the buffer tube uh, with the spring and everything in there. If you have, a, I think a Law Tactical makes them, but if you have that folded in, it's not wise to shoot. Um, th bad things can happen, but since they redesigned the whole bolt on the bug out gun, it allows you to shoot it with the brace folded in. So let's talk a little bit about the Tipman. Uh, a lot of people ask me the question, Plinkster, if you were getting an AR uh, platform in 22 long rifle, what would you get? I have always told them to get the Tipman. The Tipman is the most reliable, hands down, uh, AR 22 platform that I have ever shot. Um, I own the Micro Elite pistol, this one, and also the rifle. I have probably put seven to eight thousand rounds through those guns and i guarantee you i've had less than five malfunctions uh, today i've put probably five or six hundred rounds through this one with standard velocity cci ammo it's run like a top it has not malfunctioned one time can't say that a lot about conversion kits um, and also other companies they're good guns but this tipman by far is the most reliable uh ar-22 long rifle platform that i've ever shot and it feels just like a regular ar-15 you've got aluminum lower uh, most of your AR-15 parts will fit, so if you want to drop in a trigger uh, on it, uh, the trigger is about four pounds. This whole setup without the optic or the suppressor weighs about four pounds. Uh, it comes with the brace that is adjustable. It comes with a full length rail, uh, flip up sights, both front and rear. And I have the Crimson Tray CTS-1000 on this. This allows me to co-witness in case if my battery goes out on my red dot. And these sights are fully adjustable. Comes with your little bitty hand guard here. And I think the barrel is about six inches long. So enough talking about it, let's do some shooting. Now you can get your choice of either 10, 15, or 25 round magazines. And like I said earlier, I am just shooting standard velocity here. And let's do some plinking. All right. Go ahead at 100. And so, so very accurate. All right, got another magazine loaded up here, probably about 10 or 15 rounds. The accuracy on this guy is pretty remarkable. And it's got the same, exact same manipulation and the exact same controls as an AR-15. Not only that, it does have a forward assist right here that actually works. So it's not there just for looks. I've got a little bitty target out there at 100 yards. I think it's about a four inch plate. Let me see if I can hit it at least once. Glasses are fogging up. All right, slow down, Dave. <laughs> yep, I hit it. <laughs> that is a fun little blinker. You may watch the video a couple years ago. My buddy from Tipman Arms, Chris, came down and he brought some full auto Tipmans. Uh, this, of course, is not full auto, but we were shooting skeet with tracers, uh, which was pretty cool. I'm going to try to do it, try to at least hit one uh, semi automatic with this Tipman M4 Micro Elite bug out. So here we go. See if I can at least hit one here. Got to lead it just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> well, it is possible.
This thing is so stinking accurate. <sighs> Love it. All right, let me show you a few more things about this M4 Micro Elite uh, bug out pistol. Like I mentioned, you can shoot it um, with the brace folded in. So I'm gonna go ahead, put one in it. And we're just gonna do some shooting. I'm gonna hold it like this. It'll be a little bit easier to shoot. Where's that red dot? Good googly. All right, there it is. It's a little harder to shoot. But you can shoot it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So if you're in a bind and you can't, the brace fully extended and you want to shoot it with the brace folded in, you can do that. Unlike a lot of firearms that are on the market. One more cool thing that we need to talk about is the magazine or are the magazines. Tipman magazines are pretty awesome. They're most reliable magazine I've ever used. I'm not just saying that guys, I am not sponsored by Tipman, but I will tell you these magazines were well designed. You simply hit this button and then you have followers, okay? Like I mentioned earlier, you can get a 10, 15 round or 25 round magazines and you can actually see your round count in the magazine. Simply pop them in there one at a time and you're good to go. Well, what else can we say about it? I talked about the furniture. I talked about how it is a really good bug out firearm. I think 22 long rifle is, I guess, underestimated when it comes to a bug out gun, but if the zombie apocalypse happens or if it hits the fan i promise you one thing i will have a 22 uh, in my bug out arsenal because you can carry a lot of ammunition around pretty light um, you can carry 500 rounds of 22 long rifle in a backpack and it's going to weigh about the same as about 150 556 you can take down small game also large game with the right shot placement with the 22 long rifle so 22 long rifle, there's a reason why it is my favorite caliber. It's just so versatile. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can put them in the comments below, or you can go over to my Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter pages and ask them there. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep linking. Mm -hmm.